uh, it's another day we're working on a drift trike. We didn't want to bore you with showing you, okay, well, this is what we got done because you've seen it 6,000 times. So we went ahead and got started. We were working on the uh, rear part of the frame that's actually going to hang the axle. Uh, here we got her all measured out, cut. We went ahead and squared it up. So we got her tacked in three places on each side. I just laid the first bead over here. Uh, all I got to do is finish welding this up. I expect I'm running a wire somewhere in this process. So when I run out of wire, we're going to go get some more wire and probably get food. But hopefully, we'll have it in a state where it can be tested today. Would be pretty sick. We'll see though. Leaving the good old Home Depot. Got us some goodies. What do we get? Got some washers for the bottom of the motor mount. Then I got two packs of nylon locking nuts for the motor bolts. Keep from backing off. Because the thing shakes like hell. Got us a brand new spool of wire. Um, the Lincoln wire seems to run really, really good to the Harbor Freight welders. So I would suggest this stuff. It's not a whole lot more than the uh, Harbor Freight stuff. So I think it's worth it. And then we're headed to Wendy's to get the 444 because that's just what's up. Yeah, buddy. Alrighty, guys. Got some work done on the drift track today. A lot of work done. Yeah, a lot of work. Got the whole back end squared up and welded on. And we've got our little hangers on too. Now we're about to put the, the bearings in them and see our rod hot and get the motor on. It's looking pretty good. All right, this is what it's starting to look like. Got the axle, the motor, the seat, front wheel on. It's looking pretty good. Look at that wheel. Got anything to say? Ooh, that's spooky. I can't wait. Pretty exciting. What's going on guys? So, um, what you didn't see is last night we took and finished putting everything together and we kind of, oh shit. Oh, you got to tighten your nuts. Yeah, we kind of tested the drift track by just reaching around and hitting the throttle. The axle wasn't even secured, it was sliding back and forth. Um, but it, you know, it would go in a straight line a little bit in the backyard while we did. Today, Woke up, we got some locking collars from Tractor Supply, and other than, that's all we bought really. Got her so throttle the ran. So secured, ran a throttle, and uh, she's ready for a test rip. Alrighty guys, here's our drift trike. All broken down. She's been cleaned all up, ready for paint. Gonna hit her with some primer, get a decent heavy coat on. It's a decently warm day, sun's out. Hit her with primer, go get some food. Buy some paint while we get the primer some time to set. Almost there. By the way, uh, you guys didn't get to see this. A little bit of test run yesterday. I'll throw in some footage of that. And then uh, we got, we put a gusset in. Uh, the welds didn't break or anything, but there was a little bit of flex there, so this helped fix a lot of that. And it looks pretty cool. And then we got our feet pegs on. And they're actually pretty damn symmetrical. So, uh, that just check back in. Bent the hell out of it. Here's our progress, guys. Got her all primered up. Uh, coverage is pretty good. We only had one can, so we stretched it, but it's all got some primer on it, which is good because you need that bond to the raw metal. And now we're going to head out, get some food, grab some paint, come back, and make her gorgeous. Nice. All right, quick little update. Got it all primered. There you go. It's looking pretty good. Didn't get no runs, thank goodness. About to start putting the first bit of color on. What color did we go with? We went with a metallic charcoal from Rust-Oleum. Oh no, I just like the Rust-Oleum stuff. I've heard a lot of good about it. I've heard some bad about Chronolon, not that they are bad, it's just what I've heard. That's what we went with. It's gonna look so good. Let's start from back here and work forward. See, look at that plate.
start with a light first coat, get everything real good and tacky. And with something like this, put all that flake in it, with your other coats, you want to kind of get kind of wet. It'll let it, uh, it'll make it look really glossy when it dries. To keep it real, real thin, it won't be very glossy. <laughs> We're going to do an update video. What'd you say? <laughs> hey, Devin. What? Guess what? What? <laughs> oh! <laughs> Here's our update, guys. Um, it's like two and a half or three coats. Somewhere in there, last coat was really wet, getting that good gloss to it. I think I'm gonna try to leave it there. I bet another can, keep Take that can for the right. bottom or touch ups. God, I was whooping your ass. Oh, yeah. Uh, so here she is. I don't think we're gonna put her together tonight just because we met, do more harm than good, really. You know, don't have the uh, right tires or wheels set up yet, anyway. So. Well, I've got the wheels I'm going to use. I'm going to end up using these. The PVC won't fit over these wheels. I was going to get new tires for them. But it's just so much money. And then these wheels are rigged anyway. So I'm just going to take these apart, clean them, paint the wheels. These tires are shot. Um, I'm just going to take them apart, patch them on the inside. See, they're pretty dry rotted, but it don't matter because the PVC is going to go over it. So that's what I'm going to be using. I ordered hubs for them. And I ordered a new throttle because that throttle I got broke already. Uh, All right, what's going on, everybody? Jacob finally got the wheels on the on the old drift right here. It's looking pretty good. They had, you guys haven't got to see it since it was uh, painted and put back together. So here's the unveil. Got to get a picture of it real quick. At these wheels, everybody. They look so good. Look at Jonesy taking that Instagram shot, doing it for the gram.